Are you prepared for the next power outage? If you'd like to stay warm in the dead of winter, like right here, or keep your food from spoiling in the middle of summer, a backup power source might come in handy. This bad boy here, the Ukitel P2001 portable battery station, can run your fridge, TV, AC, or heater, all while charging a host of other devices. In a pinch, it can even charge an electric car. What's more, you can hook it up as an uninterruptible power supply and charge it with um, AC power, a solar panel, or your car. It's perfect for emergency or off-grid use, though it might be overkill for a camping trip. So let's find out if this thing is right for you. This is Tina Sieber from MakeUseOf.com, and our last scheduled power outage here in Vancouver lasted longer than my laptop battery. A power station would have really come in handy. So the Ukitel P2001 looks like most other portable power stations. It's a square box that houses rechargeable batteries and provides multiple power input and output ports. It comes with an AC charging cable and an instruction manual. The plastic build is sturdy and all of its ports are well placed. On the right side, you'll find six AC output ports under a plastic flap. Above that, behind the grills, you can see two exhaust fans. In the front here, we have the on-off button and an LED uh, light on the right, um, a cigar lighter and an XT60 port to hook up external batteries, and two DC5521 ports on the left, and an LCD panel, four USB-A and two USB-C ports in the center. And on the left side, um, the plastic flap is covering the AC and Anderson input ports. There's also an overload protection button and air intake grills. On the top, the P2001 has two metal handles and a storage compartment for charging cables nestled between the two handles. The LCD display keeps you informed about the current power input, output, charging percentage, approximate discharge time remaining, and many other details. At a glance, you can see which ports are currently drawing power, whether the fans are running, and whether the LED light is turned on. If you're exposing the P2001 to temperatures that are too high or too low, a warning symbol will show up as well. The LED light has three modes, including steady, SOS, and flash. To turn on the light, you have to long press the button, which will also produce an annoying beep until you release the button. So, how portable is this power station? The Ukitel P2001 is about the size of a crate of beer, which is reasonably compact, but at 48.5 pounds or 22 kilograms, it's about twice as heavy. Um, I think that you'll have a hard time hauling it around with only one hand, and while you can comfortably lift it up by its two handles, the weight and size severely limit the portability. If you need to carry it over a longer distance, you'll want to get a hand truck. Now, we do have it outdoors here um, in snowy weather, but is it actually waterproof or weatherproof? No, actually no. The Ukitel P2001 isn't waterproof, and the plastic case just isn't ruggedized nor properly sealed. And this power station sits just on four flat rubber feet that don't really provide good clearance from the ground. And although the AC ports, um, input and output, are covered in like plastic flaps, which provide like minimal um, splash protection, it's just not enough. The cigar lighter and uh, the XT60 port, they're sealed with rubber plugs, but all other ports and the cooling fans are completely unprotected. So we wouldn't recommend using this outdoors in the rain. Um, you would want to cover it. If you do find yourself caught in wet conditions, be sure that all ports are turned off. Each set of ports has an on-off button which is turned off by default. When you turn it on, a tiny LED lights up uh, to let you know that the ports are on. If you're in need of an emergency power supply, for example, to power medical devices, the P2001 could be what you're looking for. It can function as an uninterruptible power supply, meaning that it can pass AC power through to attached devices, and in the event of a power failure, it can switch from AC to battery mode within less than 10 milliseconds. So we tested this feature, and all devices we hooked up continued working when we cut off AC power in UPS mode. Note, however, that UPS only works for appliances under 1100 watt, um, though we did get it to work with up to 1800 watt. In our experiments with UPS, the P2001 shut down at around 1923 watt continuous discharge, though the input charge continued. 
when we ran the exact same set of devices without UPS, the continuous discharge stayed below 1900 watt and the P2001 had no problems. When we shut the AC power off as the P2001 was powering devices in UPS mode, it didn't miss a beat and um, all the devices we had hooked up, such as a microwave, a mixer, um, a computer, they all continued running. The Ukitel P2001 offers a, a couple different AC control options. You can manually switch from 50 to 60 Hz by long pressing the AC on off button. To switch from 100 to 110 volt, short press the same button 10 times. Now that you know what it can run, let's discuss battery life, output and charging. The P2001 houses a set of 48 lithium iron phosphate battery packs, which provide a total of 2000 watt hours. These lithium iron phosphate batteries offer up to 2000 charging cycles and provide a better lifespan than lithium ion batteries. You can charge the P2001 with AC power using the included charging cable. You can also plug in a solar panel or your car battery um, using the Anderson input port. However, you'll have to provide those cables as well as the car or the solar panel yourself. The P2001's battery life depends on what you want to power or charge. To get a rough idea, divide the 2000 watt hour capacity by the wattage you'll be drawing and you'll get the number of hours the battery will last. For example, you should be able to run the built-in 2 watt LED light for up to 2000 hours. About a 500 watt appliance will run for only about 4 hours. Keep in mind that the amount of power a device draws isn't always steady. Most appliances have a high startup surge before they settle at their rated power draw. An air conditioner, for example, can draw up to seven times its rated current initially. Likewise, a laptop will draw more power at full screen brightness compared to minimum brightness. In our tests, we found that the display discharge remaining wasn't terribly accurate, making us wonder initially whether the power station still had its full 2000 watt hour capacity remaining. For example, at 92% charged, which should equal about um, 1840 watt hours remaining, a one what continuous output would supposedly last for only 74 hours rather than 1,840 hours. At a higher output, um, however, the estimate seemed way more accurate, which restored our faith in the advertised battery capacity. Power supplies have a limited continuous power output. The P2001's continuous output limit is 2,000 watt, though it can support a peak power output of up to 4,000 watt for a few seconds. While the continuous power output can come from a combination of devices, be sure to connect your highest peak drainer first so that you stay within the peak output limit. Charging the Ukitel P2001 is super fast. On AC mains power, it fast charges from 0% to 100% in just two hours. Recharging from 50% battery life took us almost exactly an hour. Charging will take significantly longer, however, if you're using a solar panel or your car um, to recharge the power station. Since the Anderson port charges at a maximum of 500 watt, you can expect a full charge to take a minimum of five hours, according to Ukitel. And note that you need to stay within 12 to 48 volt when charging via the Anderson port. So, should you buy this portable power station? The Ukitel P2001 is a massive power station and pretty much on the top end of what can be considered portable. With 16 output ports spread across seven different types of ports uh, and both AC and Anderson input ports, as well as UPS support, it's quite versatile. You'll be hard pressed to find a device you can't charge with the P2001. However, this comprehensive set of features comes at a price and we don't just mean that literally. The Ukitel P2001 is quite heavy, making it barely portable. And it might be overkill if you just need to charge a few low wattage devices for short instances a few times a year, such as a camping trip. That said, if you have frequent power failures and need an emergency backup power supply for critical devices, the Ukitel P2001 might be just what you need. It has enough capacity to power even larger appliances for up to a couple of or even several hours. And it's perfect for longer off-grid uses, especially if you already own a solar panel. And that's it for this review. To catch the best deal, don't miss the Ukitel P2001 Kickstarter campaign and my full review on makeuseof.com for more details and photos. You'll find a link in the description below. And subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss our next review. Thanks for watching and have a good day.